So this question popped up during a career guidance interaction session with one of our student and uh, she is from a small city in Maharashtra and she has come all the way to Bangalore to do a job in a clinical research organization called as Equivia and uh, she was with me and she was asking about what is the difference between easy biotech jobs and high paying biotech jobs because she wanted a high paying biotech job so I thought okay I of, of course I helped her understand that so I thought why not make a video out of this for all of you easy biotech jobs versus high paying biotech jobs let me start by clarifying this fact that you cannot get a high paying biotech job unless you are specialized and a fresher is not always specialized because they lack experience so obviously expecting a high paying salary job for a fresher is possible but only in two fields which I will tell you towards the end but for now Yes, high paying jobs in biotech is reserved for those who have experience. Now, coming to the next part, easy biotech jobs are always for the freshers, but it will start at low salary. It will have more struggle in the job, but it is easy to get because they are available everywhere. Now, what are those jobs? You have laboratory technician, you have research assistant jobs, you have quality control analyst jobs, you have various other starting jobs, which is easy to get. So. It is easy to get a quality control analyst job. It is easy to get a regulatory affairs specialist job. It, it is easy to get a sales job as a sales representative job. It is easy to get a biotech manufacturing associate job and when a bachelor student can get it. But when it comes to the salary, it will range somewhere in between 14,000 rupees per month and it can go up to 30,000 rupees per month. Now, we, we also see clinical data coordinator, technical writer, scientific writer, all these jobs are easy to get, but it takes time to grow in these careers. Now, coming to one more job, which is easy to get is lab animal caretaker. Now, these are not, not core biotech jobs, but yeah, these are easy to get biotech jobs. Now, coming to those highest paying biotech jobs, what are the type of high, highest paying biotech jobs we have got? So the first thing which we have is as a project manager or a scientist or a biostatistician or a bioinformatician, a computational biologist or a genetic counselor, biomedical engineer, bioinformatics scientist. And all these jobs are high paying jobs and they start somewhere around 40,000. It goes up to you know, 24 lakhs per annum also for sales manager jobs. So these are the high paying jobs, regulatory affairs, director job, chief scientific officer job. So now coming to the question is how can we get to the high paying job? Now, there are three things you have to remember. The future belongs to those who will be ready for the change and you have to be ready for the change. If you do not adapt to the new change, you will get outdated. So the new change which is happening in the industry, which is an employment generator also, is bioinformatics, artificial intelligence and biology, and of course, uh, various upcoming uh, gene editing uh, tools such as CRISPR and uh, molecular biology and rare diseases. Yeah, that is also one uh, neurodegenerative diseases, uh, research, anti-aging research. So these are the places if you go in, you can get highly uh, paid, but you have to be highly specialized also. So a PhD will be required. So any high paying job in biotech will always be reserved for PhD with 10 years of experience and that is where you have to target and get to. Now for those who are just getting started with their career and they don't want to do PhD, bioinformatics and AIML is the way to go and if in case you can do PhD please do go ahead and do it. Now for those who have a career break, if they want to get into high paying biotech jobs, you need hands on, you need internships and same with the freshers also, you need hands on, you need internships and you need uh, to publish some papers and then you have to gain experience inside the lab or inside a industry setup and that is where we come into picture. So Biotechnica has a very big, in fact India's biggest job portal and now we are building the world's biggest job portal at biotechnica.com. So you can refer there, subscribe to us at biotechnica.org slash subscribe. The link is given in the description. And now once you are subscribed, you will be given both type of jobs. You will get an email from our side every day. Every two hours, you will get a notification from Biotechnica that any new job comes up in the biotech industry. So you can subscribe to us on WhatsApp and Telegram. And then you can go ahead and, uh, you know, if you are a fresher, apply for the entry level jobs, which will be low paying jobs, but easy to get. Uh, but then at the same time, keep building your specialization. And once you have a PhD with up to 10 years of experience, you can enjoy high paying salary jobs. Now, one important thing about high paying salary jobs is they are less in number. So it's not that everybody can get it. Only those who have persistence, who can last that long into the industry will get it. So 
that's how you have to strategize your career and if you have any que specific questions you can always reach out to me at shekhar at biotechnica.org or just comment below and i'll try to answer them thank you so much for watching see you take care bye